After you've deployed a template, the best place to start is the book entitled One Home. Start by clicking here. We've given it an obvious name, just in case you need a helping nudge. Inside this book, you'll find the welcome page. This has got instruction on how to secure the plan so that you are the only person who has access to it. By default, it is available to everyone in your tenant. So it's a good idea to do this if you're going to customise the template and import your own data. You can move to the next page by using the button or by clicking the tabs across the top. On the introduction sheet, you'll find some information about the template and a short introductory video to watch. The navigating this template sheet is where the link to this video can be found, plus some additional information about the icons you might meet in this template. Lastly, there is a home page with buttons which link to all of the other books in this template. Notice this page also has a number of icons indicating that there is both information and associated learning for these topics. For example, the first book is Analysis and it has a mortarboard icon and a light bulb icon. The mortarboard will direct you to more learning, in this case the guided tutorial called One Analysis and Plan. The light bulb icon indicates information for the specific book is available. The guided tutorials are available from the welcome page, Start Something New. Returning to our home page, we'll look at the books in a little more detail. In the Contribution and Analysis section, the first book is primarily for analysis. It has a number of pre-built analyses populated with sample data. Take some time to understand these before customising the template with your own structures and data. Grids and visualisations help you to examine trends and variances by both expenses and organisation. Use the selectors to focus on the data you are interested in. You can explore expenses by key period or do ad hoc analysis if required. This book and the forecast expenses book are located in the two planners and viewers folder and can be accessed directly from this folder if required. If you invite others to collaborate with you on this plan, you can set permissions at the book level or back at the folder level. All books inside a folder can inherit the permissions of the folder, which sometimes can save effort if you have several books that you want to have the same permissions. The second book in the Contribution and Analysis section is the Forecast Expenses book. In the Enter Forecast page, you can select the organisation and expense that you want to forecast. The information for calculating the expense forecast for this combination is preset as part of the setup exercise, but there is an opportunity to override this here if required. We can see for the HR travel combination, the calculation method is preset to full year phased, with last year as a type of phasing and we can enter the full year forecast here. The measures that are being shown in the input grid are appropriate to the calculation method chosen. So if we switch from travel, say to salary, we'll see that a different calculation method is used and then the appropriate measures are shown on the grid. It is possible to override that calculation method by clicking in here and selecting yes then you can reselect the calculation method. So if we wanted to go to volume times rate, for example, it would allow us to input a driver and a rate for that particular override. The second page in this book allows you to review the forecast expenses in an expense summary grid. You can explore by organization, expense line and time. And there's a line chart to show you the expense trend across the different versions. Back on the home page, we'll now examine the administration section. These books are in the three admins and model admins folder. The plan setup and rollover book contains information regarding administration for this specific template. Here, you are guided through the different steps. The first five pages are the processes you will need for a period rollover adding versions, snapshotting expenses, updating the expense dimension, any default methods that need updating, any changes to the organisation structure. 
in preparation for the new phase of planning. The other pages allow review and updates to the other components of the expense planning process. The second administration book is common to all templates and allows you to configure access and rights for this template. If you didn't change the default access, which allows everyone to have access to your plan, when you initially started working with it, you can do so from this book. In addition, you can invite other users, initially as plan administrators, but with the capability to reduce their access as required. You can add security groups if you require additional access configurations. Access is controlled by group inside the plan, and there are three security groups set up for your convenience, modeler, contributor, and reviewer. Cube access for each group has been preset but can be changed if you need to. For a user to have access to a cube, they must have at least read access to the dimensions that make up that cube. Next are the books under the Model Understanding and One-Off Config section. These allow you quick access to the structures that make up the plan. In the Dimensions book, the introductory page has a full list of the dimensions and hierarchies that exist in the model. This will update if more dimensions or hierarchies are added. The other pages in the book display the main dimensions in the model, those which are most likely to change, each having their own page. System dimensions, such as the measures for each of the cubes, are unlikely to change, and so they are grouped together on this last page. Next we have the cubes book where each cube is set onto its own page. First, there is a flowchart to help you understand how the, both the data and definitions flow in this model. A list of all the cubes in the model is available here and will update with any new cubes that you add. You'll see that if there are business rules associated with the cube, that the rules editor has been placed underneath the cube itself and you can review those. Sometimes it helps to enable line wrapping there to see the rules more easily. In addition, be aware that there are occasions where you will need to scroll down through the rules editor to see all of the available rules. Be aware that some cubes do not have any rules, in which case the rule editor will appear empty. In the processes book, there is one main page with the process editor on it. You can use the drop down at the top of this to select the process you want to review, making sure that you are focused on the correct database. You'll be interested in reviewing the script, including any comments that have been added to describe the details of the process. Some processes, such as updates to cubes, we'll look at the update actual expenses, uses a file as a data source. So in summary, you can start from the home page. You can use these buttons to navigate to other books and from the introduction page of each of those books, you can navigate back to the home or to any other book in this plan, making it easy to move around in the plan.